dismantle damage, they panic, wreak havoc, attack it, fall in, all win. No hesitation, the confrontation, we ready, you waiting, anticipating, this ankle breaking. Welcome back to Pisces TV with Dr. MB. This is a general love reading for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising sign. Okay. Cross watchers are welcomed because this is general. It may or may not resonate with you. Okay. And if it does not, check other aspects of your chart. Right. This could be your energy or someone in your environment. Out of my returners, I love and appreciate you. Okay. And all of my newbies, feel free to hit that subscription button and notification bell if you choose to. All right. In the description box is more information about me, my channel, Tarot, and how you can obtain my services and products. All right. A link to the Etsy store is there. And if you have not already, join us on Facebook at Pisces TV. Let's get started. Now, I'm going to take three cards. Spirit. For the overall energy for Pisces, for love, okay? I will do a separate reading for my singles. All right. <laughs> Those cards came out in the general reading. Totally different deck. So, we have the Seven of Swords, some secrets, some deception. We have the Three of Pentacles. Okay, this trap, this triage that came out as well. And we have Neptune, Cancer, okay, the Four of Cups, all right. So this tells me about some secrets or some deception, right? This also says that it's someone close to you, okay? And then the Four of Cups represents an offer that you don't want. A feeling of abandonment or rejection. It can also speak to luxury. So for some of you, if you have someone in your energy, they could have been hiding money. Okay, or an extra cup. A couple of extra cups. And hide money. But this definitely has to do with some secrets. A creation of some sort. And whatever it is, you don't want it. Okay, and then here we have... <laughs> this cup princess so this could be past present or future somebody has a deceptive offer okay or someone in your environment may be taking money so you better check your account because your wife going to target tripping all right so overall energy lovers let's get started i have the ten of wands here so we just gonna sit that ten of wands and see what is weighing us down with this sun and Sagittarius energy. Okay. Let's see. Maybe a happy ending after some independence. I do see that. All right, spirit. So what do we have for Pisces? Sun, moon, Venus, and rising sign for love. The love life. Okay. What messages do we have for the recent or the near future? Okay. We're going to start off with the emperor. The emperor is a very stable individual. The emperor is the business owner. The emperor is the boss. The emperor is not the worker bee. The emperor is someone in control of things. So they may be able to give out the what to do's and when's and why's. Okay. This is the hiring manager. <laughs> but a very stable energy. Now, at the bottom of the deck, which is Aquarian energy, we have the star. So vulnerability. Okay, hopes, wishes, and dreams, children, okay, but she is holding this Ace of Cup. I like it, okay, definitely like it with these little pillars here and the triangle. It just speaks to communication, all kind of things, but you can take a look at it and see what resonates with you the most. But as the star, like I said, it's like she's offering this cup, so someone may be wanting to offer you their cup or maybe you wished for somebody to come offer you something that's a big ass cup she holding okay now what's crossing this emperor is the eight of cups so this is walking away from things that no longer serve you now if this emperor no longer served you 
This could be someone who is controlling. Or if you're still with this person and you guys worked it out, whatever, maybe you walked away from the behavior. The behavior of, of some mental manipulation, some behavior of needing to know everything, being in control of everything. And I know um, I won't just blame women. I'm not a sexist. But some people um, may have missed some opportunities for the need to control it all, to know everything. You know, you can't even let the relationship bloom before you get into this. So what are we? Right. So maybe spirit is asking you to walk away from that behavior. Now, this came up in the general reading. We have the death card. So some of you guys may have walked away from the Scorpio or this is some form of transformation. OK, so walking away from something is going to bring in maybe this stable offer. I like it. OK, look at that. We have the Queen of Cups. Now, I like the Queen of Cups. I would prefer the Queen of Cups over the Emperor if it came to a relationship because I'm a lover lover, right? I'm also a business owner. <laughs> so we don't need two um, emperors. Well, we might. Hey, if this if the emperor is also the queen of cups, then cool, right? If the queen of cups has her own business or his own business, but love is the highest priority. I like that. Now, someone who is just focused on their own stability may not have time to love okay and then some of you may not have been in a relationship or receiving offers because you needed to get your own stability whatever the case may be i feel that this is walking away from a need to control things and naturally let the flow of love take its course because this is a transformation and she's looking this way the emperor is looking forward so what's coming toward you is a stable offer after walking away from something um, that allows love to flow. Okay. What are you walking away from? Self-sabotage. <laughs> it's not funny, but I'm, I like to play. Okay. So the Eight of Swords, this is some toxic stuff. Okay. She has this veil on. So she's not seeing things for what they're worth. And she probably high from the whatever this funky green stuff is coming out of this pot all right she is out in the forest alone i don't see anyone else with her so probably dealing with situations by yourself whatever situation you were in with others this was mental because no one else is out there okay and all of these swords are behind her to remind her of the truth these are also battles that she may um have had to deal with but it speaks to self-sabotage okay and the Eight of Swords is some toxic energy. Maybe that's what you walked away from. Gaining some control. Now, the Ten of Wands speaks to being weighed down. Okay? It also speaks to completion. So, that just says that whatever has or was toxic in your environment will weigh you down. Right? Which will lead to this completion or, had, or has weighed you down. Um, but it speaks to that time being over because tens are about endings and new beginnings. And I like that. Taking all the steps to kind of get out of that energy. Now we have the lovers. Okay. Now the lovers is crossing with this eight of swords. And then I have completing this situation. Maybe it's walking away. Whatever works for you. But the ten of wands is what's going to get you back into this queen of cups energy if not your energy someone in your environment so it's like you leave one environment for another environment i like that which transforms your love life now centering this reading uh oh my fingers and these nails we have the three of pentacles now the three of pentacles is what we're walking away from okay Maybe there were one too many cups in the situation or whatever this unity was, whatever this thing was, was a creation. When I think of creation, this is like maybe it was created in this toxic environment. Now, under this eight of cups, we have the queen of wands. So I feel that this ten of wands signifies the queen of wand energy, mastering whatever this situation was that you walked away from gave you some type of courage and strength and confidence okay 
It could even been a self-image issue, right? And actually, we talked about this in the Daily Vibe. So if you haven't uh, watched that, feel free to check that out. I think you may like it if this resonates with you. But here we have this transformation. And I spoke about revamping your look, honey, or your inside, inside and out to transform you into this new you because we've all grown so much throughout this year so it's like you need to reflect that out into the world to um, attract and get on the vibration of your soulmate right but anyway this is about courage all right having courage believing in yourself and confidence to walk away and look what we have here the knight of swords okay so i'm sorry the king of swords so the King of Swords is like a battle, a battle that you walked away from, right? The King of Swords is logical, strategic, right? It could also speak uh, speak to some information, um, but like I said, the King of the King of Swords is a warrior for me. So this just speaks to a battle that you had to win. This battle could have been within yourself or with someone else, right? So we have the Emperor and the Queen of Wands, right? The confidence to take control of your own situations. And then we have the King of Swords and the Eight of Cups. The Cups are all about emotions. The King is about logic. So maybe you had to, not maybe, but you had you have to have confidence and courage to, to walk away from this situation or this fight. Now for some of you, this King could represent you it can also represent another person. Okay, if you're dealing with any air energy and this queen could represent you. Or it could represent you dealing with another person. This could be parents. This could be lovers. Whatever it is, it's just having the belief in yourself to walk away. Now, you go from a three of pentacle energy to six. Okay, so maybe something was one-sided, this creation. The six of pentacles speaks to equal give and take right so this is like um what you give you receive what you receive you give balance also speaks to help so the universe may also even be involved like i said the soulmate energy and attracting for the moon child okay so my little star seeds it's like the universe may have stepped in to help you with this confidence to help you walk away or this could have all been in design because we had the Six of Cups. And those of you that feel left out in the cold, there may be a need to do shadow work. Okay? And I myself have to indulge, right? But if you're feeling left out in the cold from a situation or just period, if you feel like this place, you know, isn't for you, this relationship isn't for you, like everything that, that you know, you want, you don't got, whatever. If you're feeling like that, there's a need for some shadow work or to just clear your energy because it could be this creation, right? This negative energy is near you. This toxic energy that was weighing you down is near you, right? So what you do, you meditate, you know, burn your sage, um, get deep into meditation, into your subconscious to clear out any of those thoughts. Um, but more importantly, clearing out energy that isn't your own, okay? Some of these um, conditioning uh, situations and love spells are just toxic in nature, okay? We do have the Uncrossing All on the at the Etsy store, um, and I do have reviews. So if you want to know like how it works, it does it work, it does. But the shadow work can be done without the Uncrossing All. And if you want to look on YouTube for any methods to do that, that's how I learned. So just feel free to Google or YouTube um, shadow work. Now, the five of wands speaks to competition. All right. I didn't even ask where this goes. But this is about, you see the three, look at that. We had three pentacles and we got three women. But this is the same person, actually. So it's like beating yourself up. Because this is a fight. So don't beat yourself up. Don't beat yourself up about the choices that you made, right? Because they may not have been all your own. But don't beat yourself up. Um, and whatever it is that you're coming out of, that's very important. All right? Um, 
there may be a message, right? Coming from a person that you used to deal with. Um, and this person may have placed you in a third party situation, or you know that there was some distance between you two and you kind of question what it is. I definitely say that this may not be the best thing for you to get into and is exactly why you need to do the shadow work. So if you guys are dealing with calls from random people from the past, I don't care if it was 20 years ago, um, don't, you know, don't rush. Learn from the past. How did it end the last time? We are moving into new energy. So I can almost guarantee um, that this energy is not what's going to transform. If you had noticed, this year is about starting completely over. Okay? Into something new. So if you want to know if you and JoJo are going to work out, mm, usually those texts and those phone calls are just about this wand right here, okay? This non-committal energy, all right? Um, and then learn from what happened last time after that wand, okay? Yeah. That's just all I can say, right? <laughs> and I'll ask Spirit, is there anything else? Stop fighting. No fighting. We got the 10 and the 5. That's 15, okay, or 50. 1, however you want to look at it. It's a 1 and a 5 and a 0. The, the 5 of Swords speaks to conflict and battle, right? And this is dead. Revisiting issues that are dead and done with, okay? And then the 10 of Swords speaks to betrayal, the ultimate betrayal, but at the end of it and knowing all you need to know. Some of you may be halfway through the course. Others of you may be finishing it up. Okay? But whatever it is, look what comes at the end of the tunnel. So it's like, do you want this wand or do you want this happy home, this happy life? Right? And then I saw the hermit here. So it's like when we just talked about shadow work, right? You definitely want to go within and get messages from your spirit guides. Meditate more. Make sure you're getting the proper rest and eating high vibrational foods. You want to make sure we're drinking enough water, okay? And it's okay to spend time alone, right? But I feel being in this hermit mode, cutting out the things that no longer serve you and not responding to those exes that pop back up, when you come out of the other side of this tunnel, you might that kind of look like the same background. You might stumble upon this uh, Ten of Cups. You might. Okay, now I don't, can't guarantee that because this is general, but I like that, Pisces. So it's like you're beating yourself up, and yeah, you need to stop that, definitely. Here's the five of wands, this competitiveness with your partners, okay, or with family. And then we have this ace of wands, this creation, this creative energy over here that may have weighed you down and kind of took you from this essence into something toxic. We're going to walk away from that. But I feel after completing um, this healing, right? After healing whatever this energy or this wand did to you, after healing that, um, you will come into some soulmate or, you know, soul tribe energy, whether it's friend, relationship, family, whatever it takes, okay? Because some of you have been on journeys full of deception, okay, that you didn't have complete control over, because of the seeds that were planted, the conditioning from how others around you when you were growing up lived their lives and dealt with their relationships and their partners. So don't let that hinder you, you guys. I do hope you appreciated this as much as I did. I love to hear that love is on the horizon, okay? And I do like that you put some armor on, right? Not to fight, but just to protect yourself from others that could even be, um, you know, self-centered and narcissistic and all about themselves, okay? Or that are overly logical and analytical and lack love, right? Because love is law. Now, if you have questions, I'm going to take five cards. With these five cards, Spirit will provide the answer that you need, okay? You can pick a number one through five or you can just ask five things, But let's see here. And I'm going to be using the Divine Animal Oracle. 
Look at that. News. Okay. Some news is on the horizon. If you've been seeing a lot of birds. 23 also resonates with the number five. So some news about change. Okay. This change could be happiness. Something that you will be happy about with this little dolphin here. And I don't know how many of y'all having kids, but that keep coming up. All right. That's question two. Happiness. Now, question three, we have the Watchers, the Snow Leopard. Okay, I like the Watchers. The number 15, what we just have? We just had five and 10, what cards were those? Dang it. Anywho, the Snow Leopard. I don't know much about the Snow Leopard, so let's see what the Watchers have to say for that question three, honey. Maybe that person watching you. Okay, this one's, oh, here we go. That one's about the moon. Spirit said, no, that's not what it means. See, that's why I grabbed the book. Because I will say whatever I feel like. The watcher, take the high, oh, boop. Take the high road. Do not sink to the level of low vibrations. Yes, I'm glad I read that, okay? Sit back and watch. If you sit back and observe, the situation closely before you act you'll let them kind of dig their own hole ethics is the number one concern it is best not to continually draw attention to yourself just for the sake of filling up your ego a little mystery is a good thing okay so kind of just sit back sit back and watch okay for a little bit now here we have Question four, I like that question uh, three. Question four is prosperity, one of my favorite cards of this whole deck, okay? So prosperity, the number 39, so that's 12 and that's three, creating, okay? That puts me in the energy of the Empress, okay? We have a six and a six and a five, okay? And a three, I like it. Now question five. I don't know if they're going to top the snow leopard and the peacock, but let's see. Oh, it does. The tarantula. Okay. Connection. Now, five is always about change. So, coming in this fifth position, the tarantula speaks to connection and life purpose. This can also be transformative for some of you with that number 13. So, it's like you are connected to everything. You are the creator of your own prosperity. And to do that, just sit back and watch. If you sit back and watch, you are going to get a message that's going to make you happy when it comes to your life, your life purpose, and love, because this is a love reading. So chill. Chill, Bill. But this is going to be a very stable little situation coming your way. And I'm so happy, Pisces, because we deserve that. So until next time, focus on your life purpose, okay? but also be open and receptive to love. Namaste.